Let's look at this application of set theory. 200 students were surveyed to determine the type of pet that they have. 50 have a dog, 62 have a cat, 13 have a fish, 10 people have only a dog and a cat, 5 have only a dog and a fish, 3 have only a cat and a fish, 114 people have no pets. And the question is how many students have all three pets? So I've created a Venn diagram here. Let's make this circle the dogs, and we know that there's 50 people in this circle. Now 50 have a dog. 50 means everybody in this circle, so not a dog only. If the question said 50 have only a dog, then the 50 would only apply to this little part of the circle out here. But it says 50 people have a dog, so that's everybody in that D circle. There's the C circle for cats, and there's 62 people in there. 62 have cat, and there's 13 people in the fish circle. And then 10 have only a dog and a cat. So we need the part that's dog in the dog circle and the cat circle. That's right here. So that's 10. 10 people in the dogs and 10 people in the cats, but not in the fish circle. Five are in the dog circle and the fish circle. So that would be this one the dog circle and the fish circle, right there where they overlap. And four have the cat and the fish, so that would be this little segment in the cat circle and the fish circle. And 114 are outside, and the total is 200. And the question is, how many have all three? So we don't know what this is. But we're looking for the, this part here that's in the fish circle, it's in the cat circle, and it's in the dog circle. How many of all three? Well, let's see what our total is. So if we count all the people in the dog circle, that's 50. So that's everybody in here. Let's do this in red here. So I've just covered everybody in here. That was the dog. 50 people there. Plus, let's... Let's take all the people in the cat circle, that's 62. Now when I just did this, I counted everybody in here, but I've already counted these people in the dog and I've counted these people in the dog. So I've got to minus the 10, because I've already counted those, and minus the x, already counted those. So now I've got these people added to my total, plus the fish people. There's 13 people in this fish circle. But of those 13, I've already counted the 4, and I've already counted the x, and I've already counted the 5, so take those away. That would now add all of these people, plus the 114 people that are not in the sets, and that's a total of 200. So I should be able to solve this equation for x. Got a lot of numbers to add up here, so... I am going to add these all up. 50 plus 62 minus 10 plus 13 minus 4 minus 5 plus 114 is 220. So 220, and then I've got minus 2x here, equals 200. Now I can just minus 220 from both sides. Two hundred minus two twenty is negative twenty. Divide by negative two gives me x equals ten. So there are ten people in here in this population of two hundred that have both a dog and a cat and a fish. Oh they have all three. Let's look at one more example. Okay, here we got a situation where some people were asked um, what kind of movies they like to watch. So 45 people liked comedy, 50 liked drama, 40 liked action, and then there were some people who liked comedy and action, liked all three, and so on here. So let's see if we can answer some questions about this information in this Venn diagram. Let's figure out how many people like only action. So only action would be 
these people right here in this part of the diagram. These people down in this part of the circle have, have nothing to do with comedy or drama. So in order to get that, we know that there's 40 people in total here in this circle, but of those 40 people, 15 like comedy and action, minus the 15, so 40 people in this circle here, minus these people, because they're comedy and action, minus these people, because they're all three, minus these people, because they're drama and action. So that's a total of 40 minus 15 minus 7 minus 9. So there's nine people who are only action. Let's look at this one here. So the number of people who are A, like action, let's erase these here. So the number of people who are in the action union, so or the comedy. So just showing that we want this. We want all this stuff here. So anybody that's in action or anybody in, that's in comedy. So there's 40 people. Let's count all these people here. So we've just got everybody in this circle. Plus. Now we need to get these people that are in the comedy section. So there's 45 of them that are in comedy. However, we've already counted these two parts. Because they in this comedy circle, these two we've already counted in the action piece. So minus 15 minus 7. So that would include these little peop these people here and these people here. And calculator again, 40 plus 45 minus 15 minus 7 is a total of 63 students or whatever people that like action or comedy. Now this is the number of people, let's erase these things again. This one we want the number of people that are D, so drama, and intersection, and comedy. So drama and comedy. Now that's these people. They are drama and comedy comedy. Now we could argue these people here too, 19 people like drama and comedy. Of those 19, seven would also like action, but technically the ones that are inter interlapping with the drama and the comedy are these two groups here. There's the drama circle, there's the comedy circle. So 19 people are in the intersection of the comedy and the drama. 19 people like comedy and drama. Now, let's look at these last two here. So this is comedy or drama. And then this slash, these slashes mean not or minus. We don't want to include the A people. So, whoops, lost the, oh, now I lost the circle. Right. Well, let's get a not quite so good red circle back here. And uh, what did I have in here? This was 12, I think. Get a black pen again. 12. Okay, so let's do this one. The number of people that are comedy or drama, so comedy or drama, but not A. So not action. So in our totals, let's see what we want. We want the comedy people, but they can't be part of this action. So we can take these people. They're comedy, but they're not action. We can take these people, because they're comedy uh, or drama. And we can take these people. So we want everybody there. This would be comedy or drama, but nobody from the action circle. Okay, so 
We need to get these people, comedy only. Let's figure out how many are just in this part. We know there's a total of 45 in the comedy circle. Let's take out the 12, let's take out the 15, and let's take out the 7. So we'll take out these three. That'll give us just that piece. So 45 minus 12 minus 15 and... Oh, not minus 12. 45 minus 15 minus 7. So 23 people. 23 people are only comedy. So they're good. 23 plus these people in here. There's 12 of them there. Oh, wait, no, we've already got those people. So I did 45, I did these people, and I minus these, and I minus these. That's how I got the 23. So the 23 is actually these people in here plus these people. So we got 23. That's, that's this part so far. Now I need to get these people in here. So there's 50 in that whole circle, minus these people, because we've counted them already, minus these people, because they're not part of action, and minus these people, because they're also part of action. So that's 50 minus 12 minus 7 minus 9, 22. So there's 22 people that are in this piece. So that's a total of 45 people who are in the comedy or the drama, but not part of the action. Let's do another one like that. Let me try to erase again here. Oops, lost the 12. Oops, and lost the comedy there too. It was in here. This was 45, I think. And this was 12. Okay, so how many people are in A or D, so action or drama, but not in C? So we want these people right in here. And these people right in here. So the action circle or the drama circle, but not in the comedy circle. So let's figure out how many people are in this first green area here, this, this little arc right here I'm looking at. So there's 40 people in total in the circle. Take away the 7 and the 15. So 40 minus 7 minus 15 is a total of 18 people that are in this little pie piece here. So that's good. That's counted all those people. Now I need to get this arc in here. So these drama, these drama people. So 50. But 50 is this whole circle. So take away the 12. Because I don't want those. And I don't want those. And I've already counted those 9. So 50 take away 12, take away 7, take away 9 is a total of 22 and 18 and 22 is 40. So there are 40 people who like action or drama but they don't want comedy, not comedy, so 40. So this is how we can use our Venn diagrams even when there's three of them here, three different groups. And really it's just a matter of identifying which segments or segments of the circle that we want and using our information to determine what those numbers should be.